What's going on guys, Nightwing here, back with another video. So, um, about a week ago, I made a post on my Facebook page, and I told you guys to send me questions that you guys had for, and I wanted to do like a Q&A video. And I got sent about, I think it was like 40, almost 50 different questions. Um, and I went through them all, and a lot of them, they're... <laughs> I specifically said in the post in relation to the life lesson series, like if you have specific questions, and I just got a bunch of weird fucking questions. Some of them like weren't weird, but some of them were kind of weird, and I um, narrowed them down to 10 different questions that I wanted to do. Um, something different that I'm doing on my channel. Uh, I would like to do a series where we do a huge amount of Q&A stuff. I love Q&As, they're a lot of fun. Um, so we're just gonna go through them and see how best I can answer these if I even can. All right. Uh, First one was from No Greater Love. He said, how did you get over your ex? Ugh. Okay. Look, I'm going to be honest with you. It's very, very hard. It depends on how long you're with somebody. You know, like, if you're asking me for, like, a tip, like, how to get over somebody, there's, there's no easy answer for that. You know, everybody's going to tell you something different. A lot of people are going to tell you, oh, it gets, it gets easier over time. I can tell you from personal experience that when you're in a relationship for six years, it's very hard to go over that. You know, it doesn't just go away over time. Like, it it doesn't get easy. Um, the best thing that you can do that I did is just spend time with your friends and your family, the people that care about you, and um, just... And, Involve yourself with other people, you know, like put yourself back out there. You can't be afraid to get yourself back out there um, you know, Crazy hair. It's It's hard, you know um, Yeah, it's really there's honestly I could go on and on and on about that But that would take up the entire duration of the video then so just involve yourself in other people and just try to keep a positive mindset. It, it is hard. I'm telling you, it's very hard. But you can do it. I believe in you. All right. Devastation said, what editing software do you use? Okay, so I've actually gone back and forth and used a bunch of different softwares. Um, the first one I ever used was uh, Video Editor. That one was a um, free software, I think, on my Toshiba laptop that I had. It was, God, that thing was such a piece of shit. It was so bad. Um... Then I went to uh, PowerDirector. Now, PowerDirector is like my favorite. I know a lot of people say, oh no, no, Sony Vegas and all that. Don't get me wrong. I love that software too, but I love PowerDirector. It's so like user friendly, and I have learned so much when it comes to editing while doing that. Um, if you ever want to do a software, I highly recommend PowerDirector, especially if you're just starting out. It's a um, really easy software to use. All right, Beyond's. Uh, said, what would you do if you woke up and the world was ending? Probably just fucking go back to sleep, to be honest. <laughs> it's another day in the life. Uh, forgive me if I if I butcher your names, I'm sorry. Um, Sparta Helican. If you could kill one person in this world, who would it be and why? Well, that's a good way to incriminate yourself. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I'm without words on this one. Uh, I didn't actually choose all these. Some of my friends did. Some of, I had some of my friends go through here and, and choose these questions for me. So these are the first time I'm seeing these. I have someone in mind, but I'm not going to say it just to keep myself safe. But there is someone. All right. Uh, it's your boy. Rocket League or FIFA? Rocket League. All the way. I love. Don't get me wrong. I love FIFA. I love soccer. Um, I just fucking love Rocket League. I could play that shit all day. I think it was. I was playing Rocket League last night. Um, I could play that all day long. All right. The Hive. Do you believe in ghosts? Absolutely, I do. I don't fuck with no Ouija board. No, fuck that. Like, you are asking for trouble and like bad juju when you're <laughs> when you're fucking with that shit. No way. Like, if I ever did that, my mom wouldn't let me in her house. She would disown me. All right. Um, Zeet09. I started YouTube, and I was wondering if you had any tips. All right. 
you know, it's it's kind of it's kind of cool that somebody's asking me that. I'm not a big YouTuber, you know, like I'm no one special. But the fact that someone's asking me that, thank you. That means the world to me. All right, so I mean, you, you got to come up with something original. You got to find your thing, and and I've tried a little bit of everything on my channel, and some things I thought worked out pretty well, and some things I actually didn't think worked out really well. Um, a lot of people told me, oh, Sean, you should do more drum set videos. Those those really seem to work really well for you. And personally, I didn't really think that they did. Um, I enjoyed them. I mean, I've been a percussionist for a really long time, but they're just not my thing for my channel. Um, I actually think that this, the, this new content that I'm producing right now is some of the best I've ever done. I really think that it's what I want to do on my channel full time. But if, if you're looking to start out YouTube, you gotta come up, you gotta start by getting a good name. Okay, get something that people will remember. Um, my name's pretty rememberable. Um, you gotta come up with your own content. You gotta upload daily. Okay, you gotta, you gotta do the consistency. Now, I can't really speak because I've gone very big time periods where I wasn't uploading, but that's because I also have a, big, a busy life. YouTube's a very, very hard market to get into nowadays. It's, it's so hard because um, everybody's doing it and it's it's something that it's it's just it's extremely hard to get into do not be one of those people that puts it all of their time and effort into it you need to still if you're working don't quit your job to do YouTube full-time because I promise you you will fail like you can't you can't put all your cards on the table um, so don't don't do that you're, you're gonna hate yourself down the road trust me all right uh, always blazing. Who is your favorite person on planet Earth and why? Man, that's a hard question. Are, is he talking like just people in general or like celebrities? <sighs> I was going to talk like, I'm going to say like my favorite person of all time has got to be Robin Williams, like by far. Robin Williams is such an inspiration to me. Um, that man, I grew up watching all of his films, and when when he died, I was devastated. I was so upset. If I could like meet anybody, it would be him, a hundred percent. And I'll never get the chance to. So it's, I think I think that's why, because he's he's just such a positive person, and he's just such an inspiration. And after hearing about all the things that he went through, and the fact that he was still staying positive, still filming and doing all the amazing things that he did is it's just so inspiring. All right, again, I'm sorry if I butcher your name. Andrew Millward, how did you stay in a relationship for six years? Communication, okay? And I'm not gonna say that it was all perfect the whole time. It wasn't, trust me, it wasn't, um, but communication honesty and just the drive to keep the relationship going it's it's important I remember there was a time where we were like oh we're gonna be the high school couple that's gonna get married right out of high school and stuff like that. and um, excuse that <laughs> couldn't make work and um, it it's just one of those things where you gotta be willing to put the effort in it's that's the best way I could put it a lot of times when I tell people oh yeah my last one when they say to me what was your last relationship and I tell them it was six years I feel like I intimidate a lot of people um and I kind of push them away in a way and they're like oh I don't know how I'm gonna compete with that and um I always hate telling people how long my last relationship was I don't like bringing it up but yeah so communication is the most important thing all right, last one for this video. Renee Jackson, what's your go-to first date? Okay, don't ever take somebody to a movie on the first date. Because if they don't like the movie, then they're not going to like the date. D like, trust me, don't do that. Take them out to dinner. Take them to go roller skate. Take them to go to the aquarium. Somewhere that you can actually talk and have a good time. But for the love of God, don't be one of those idiots that takes somebody to a movie on the first date. I hate people that are like that. Like, maybe the second date, even then that's still pushing. Like, I would, like, wait until, like, the third or fourth date when you do, when you go out to a movie. So, yeah, this was 
first episode Q and A session. You know, like um, let me know if you guys want to see more of this stuff. I actually, this was actually kind of fun. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. I'll talk to you guys later.